Good morning. Today we're in 2 Corinthians 5, verse uh, 15, which says, And Jesus died for all, that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. We're living for Jesus, not for, for ourselves, not for our own purposes, not for our own pleasure. We're living for him. The whole focus of our lives has changed when we came to Jesus. It's changed radically. Um, he puts it another way earlier on in the same chapter. In verse 7, he says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. We've changed. When we met Je Jesus and we gave our lives to him and we realised that there was a bigger picture than our little world centred on our affairs and our needs and our family and our work and our home and looking after ourselves. Yes, we have to look after ourselves, but we mustn't be obsessed with looking after ourselves. We have to see the bigger picture. We've changed. So that those who live, it says in verse 15, he died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. The focus has changed. The focus is not in, it's out. The focus is not me, 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 me. And if you didn't notice that, me. But out there, others for whom Jesus died. And as if that isn't convincing enough, in words, if we skipped over that and didn't realise that a radical, enormous, indescribable almost change has happened in our lives he goes on to write verse 17 therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation or a new creature oh the old has passed away behold the new has come if you didn't get it then will you get it now when you became a Christian when you turn to Jesus, when you began your existence, your life in Christ, the old went and the new came. You became a new creation, a new creature. Do you know before Jesus died and rose again and sent his Holy Spirit, there weren't any people who were living lives, born again of the Spirit of God. This is a new category of creature, a new kind of life. Adam and Eve didn't need to be filled with the Spirit before they sinned. They didn't have the capacity to sin until they sinned. Then it all went pear-shaped, didn't it? We are new creatures, a new creature that has a different centre. The centre, the core has changed. The core is not me or you. The core is Jesus. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. That's how Paul described it. Such a radical change. The old has gone, the new has come. That's finished. This has started. We changed, radically changed. We don't live by feelings or sight. We live by faith. That's a radical change. The old thing that, you know, we responded to stimuli and that was all we did. We responded to orders from people around us. And we, as we were children, we did what we had to do. You know, we responded to things in our world. Now we live by faith. Now we follow. We choose faith, not feelings. And not sight. Often sight is deceptive. I don't know if you've ever been to one of those museums. Uh, I can't think which one. Probably a, the Science Museum. Years and years ago, they had a wonderful exhibit where when you looked at it straight on, you saw a mug or a teapot or whatever. But if you looked to the side, you saw that it was only a half. Only the front half was there. The back half wasn't there. When you looked at it by sight, 
It wasn't, it looked like a mug. It looked as if you could pour water into it and it would be fine. But when you look from the side, it was simply a facade. We don't know the full picture of most of the things in our lives, but God does. We walk by faith, listening to him, and he guides us so that our foot doesn't slip and we don't make a mistake and we don't get into trouble. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. This is why some of the things that we used to do, we used to think were perfectly all right, we used to be quite happy about. We have an awfully unsettled feeling about doing some of those things. It's because we've changed. We've changed, radically changed. The old has gone, the new has come. It's no wonder the things that used to satisfy don't satisfy anymore. It's no wonder the moments you feel the most alive are possibly when you're reading the word or when you're praying or when you're in a worship situation with other Christians. Something, you, you find something there that you never found anywhere else. And the world we live in is searching for that, that fullness and that satisfaction and that completeness and that thrill. And they use every means at their disposal to find and get the thrill that can only be got from living for Jesus. There's no other way to get it because that's what we were made for. We were made to walk by faith and not by sight. We were made to trust and not fear. We were made to be motivated and filled with the Holy Spirit. We were made to live no longer for ourselves, but for him who for their sake, for my sake, for your sake, died and was raised. We finally found what we were made for. Praise God. Have a great day. Be very blessed in everything that you do. Listen to the faith talk and not to the feelings talk. Remember, you're a new creation. Praise God. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.